Hello everybody, welcome to your Farming Simulator 17 DLC Spotlight. Today, the, the uh, Europa DLC launched. It, I got it literally about 5 minutes ago. Um, it's currently, what, 10 minutes past 11. Um, I figured I'd get lucky with the time difference. Our time zones uh, released midnight German time, 11pm British time, or Irish time. So let's have a look at it. Um, I know that so the media partners already have had a look, but eh, I want to give my own opinions. I actually want to compare these at the end to the um, Homer stuff, because these seem to just be... Well, and this to the Grimma. They seem to, by and large, and this isn't a complaint, that is not... Ooh, that's interesting looking. <laughs> Um, they seem to, by and large, just be the Homer stuff, um, functionally. I'm not going to say they're the exact same and there's no need to get them, but functionally speaking, they are just Homers. So this is the uh, Ropus Tiger 6. You can hear it's, it does have continuous sounds. What does the horn, what does the horn sound like? Pathetic. Okay. <laughs> It's completely dropped out by the engine. So this is the sugar beet harvester. It uh, fills... This seems to be much... Hang on. Am I seeing this correctly? Because I... This seems to be a much larger... 43,000... 45,000. It's actually slightly smaller than the Homer. And costs... Slightly more. Hmm. <laughs> Main game maybe it's not, not, might not be the most useful thing in the world. Um, although the header does seem to be larger. We have a field of sugar beets over here. A field of potatoes. Well, a partial field of sugar beets and a partial field of potatoes. Um, didn't feel like there was much of a need to go for a full field of each. So I will apologize as well for the... Um, you might notice bits of the UI are kind of spazzing and the, the blacks are being a bit weird. Um, I have disabled temporarily reshade, which is a shader mod that I use, or a shader system that I use. Um, and unfortunately, some it, it, it does have some bad effects when it's on and when it's off. And one of them is making the lax and greys spaz a little um, and just go a bit mental. So this thing harvests at 11 kilometers an hour. It's actually quite a wide swath. I'm really enjoying the, uh, the sounds. Let's see what it can do. Uh, left control Y for all the steering. This should now be... Oh, it is self-leveling. That's interesting. That, um, I was told that it was self-leveling. I wasn't entirely sure what that meant. And now I do. So it's not going to try and... Oh, the header as well. It's at an angle. So it's all kind of self-leveling suspension. That's really nice. So if I go for... Crab steering to the left. We should, in theory... Yes, we are. We're now crab steering to the left. And, of course, I'd need to be, for maximum realism, crab steering to the right, which will take a couple of seconds for it to set in. And now we crab to the right. You can keep going in a straight line, just crabbing completely, and the reason that you do this uh, in real life is for action, by the way. I'm quite, I quite like this, and the fact the suspension and everything just kind of... You can see the headers at a walk, compared to the, the, the rest of the equipment. That's really nice. I like this. I'm not too fond of the fact that it's um, got a lower capacity than the whole mode, but so be it. Um, I will need to get a couple of tractors in a second as well, because I just re realised that I'm going to need them for some stuff. Um, so let's get this back into all-wheel steering, which is... I, I, for whatever reason, I prefer having all-wheel steering on um, big harvesters like that. So let's put the pipe out. And I want to unload onto... Does this... Oh, does the pipe have mass control? It does. And, oh, it's got complete mass control. You can even... That's something that's got over the homer, because in the homer you cannot control the end of it. That's quite nice. So let's just uh, make a pile there while I run off. I'm going to need a tractor for this, so let's just get a uh, T7. Why not? It should power what I want. It should power the uh, 
Put out a harvester, I just want to double check. It requires 150, yep, T7 will do it. So if I need to turn off switch to trains, hang on. <laughs> um, I am being professional. Trains, where's switch to trains? There we go, off. So next up, we'll look at the potato harvester, which seems to be very similar to the Grimma here. Um, working with two meters, working with two meters. Holds slightly more, costs slightly more, and requires slightly more horsepower. Um, it's got a higher daily cost. Now, the reason I'm directly comparing these is because I think they're... I think they're um, mostly similar. Um, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be unfair or mean or anything to giants and to the to the DLC I actually quite that is quite the warthog or pig or whatever that is um, I'm trying to I'm trying to be as fair as I can to giants and to the DLC as a whole but yeah, when stuff comes into the game that just kind of fills the same gap as something else um, it's kind of You know, difficult to uh, say, oh, well, yeah, the, it fills the same gap, but reasons, reasons, reasons. What happens if I pipe, put, set it to pipe out? Okay, so when it's... Oh, you cannot pipe out and harvest at the same time. Okay. So you can harvest with this or put the pipe out with this, but you can't do both at the same time. Which is interesting. Can you, I wonder... This is just going to be a test. You cannot tip anywhere while you're harvesting. Ah, because there are some paleo harvesters like this in real life, and I don't know if this is one of them. It looks like it might be, but I don't know where you can... Um, actually just lay the potatoes down on the ground and come up with a bigger machine later on and uh, collect them up. But that's uh, not a function that this thing has. You can, if you get it just right, by the way, do just about three rows of potatoes, as you're seeing here. And it that's self-leveling again. See, the rear suspension is um, really heavily at a wonk. And it looks like it's at an angle compared to the tractor. The harvester itself is level. That's a really interesting... That's something I've not, never seen in a, uh, anything from Giants before. I've seen some... Self-leveling headers on combines before, modded combines, but I've never seen it on a uh, a piece of giant's equipment. So that is definitely new and definitely nice, and probably something to look forward to in FS19, I presume. So let's uh, unfold the pipe and see how it looks when you're tipping. So I don't know why it goes through that little basket, but it does. And you can again angle it. Doesn't seem to make much of a difference, but you can angle it. Doesn't well, it doesn't change the particle effect too much, which does seem to be new, by the way. Don't recall that being on anything before. Um, and the rest of this is basically going to be me faffing about the bigger with the bigger equipment and a trailer, which I need to grab. Um, I'm just going to grab this little Metallitech. Because the two remaining pieces of equipment are the Euromouse and the Noiro Mouse. Um, and I know I'm kind of running through this quickly. I'll get to them in a bit more detail in a minute. I just want to show, I just want to try them in action first and then we'll move on to, well, what do I think of how they look and how they perform and, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. So I'll just get the tractor up to the field and I'll come back for the harvesters in a second, or for the pickers in a second. We'll go for the Euromass first. Uh, which is going to be the beet picker. Or the beet thing. Um, or the mouse, yeah, the mouse 5. Even. Does this have any cool little effects for changing things? Lower loading vehicle. So that lowers the header. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Alright. 
let's unfold this. And we'll see if I can't get the pipe around to where I want it to be. It does seem to be a bit rolly. So we'll put that down and get the pipe around and can it extend at all? No. Ah, but it can twist like this. So you can basically park your tractor right beside your Euro mouse. And in theory unload straight into it. And that I'm pretty sure that's the same uh, sugar beet particle effect as previously. There is a little delay between it uh, picking up the beets and unloading into the trailer, which is nice. <laughs> I've made a haze of this almost immediately. But you can, you know, park the tractor up if you really want to, and I don't know why you would, right beside your, your mouse and unload into it like that. Um, and I just need to tip the trailer out again. Now, the other one, the Navarro Mouse, which is the other um, big machine that you saw over at the, uh, the shop, we're going to use for the potatoes I... <clears throat> the potatoes I harvested, as my voice cracks. Um, because that can, um, I believe, pick up literally anything in the game. It looks... It looked, um, if I go to, I think it's in beet harvesting. No, it must be under misc, I guess. Yeah, this can pick up wheat, barley, canola, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, seeds, fertilizer. That looks to be mixed ration. I'm not entirely sure what that one signifies. Um, chaff, wood chips, and silage. So if I go over to the Novaro Mouse, which I honestly for me is something. This is the reason that I bought the DLC. For me, it's, it seems to be. Hang on, why is there a second control arm? Can't do anything with the arm at the moment. What's the horn like on this actually? That sounds much, uh, much more like what you'd expect a horn on this to sound like. So let's start unfolding it, and we get the, uh, it's basically the, from what I can see, the Euro mouse with a funky front end for, like, silage and stuff. And I've just realized that I parked the, uh, the trailer on the wrong side. Can I flip this the entire way around? That's not how physics works, but okay. Can I turn this the entire way around? Yes, you can. You can. <laughs> so if you uh, muck up like I did and you need to turn the pipe of the Noara Mouse 180 degrees from the way that it wants you to, um, you can. And then it should pick up the potatoes. is one of the few things it can't pick up, isn't it? Yes, I can't pick up sugar beet. I've wasted my time here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a set piece real quick. Um, yeah, let's get some solid fertilizer, two bags, and uh, skid steer. So let's make a real quick set piece where I can use this. My pilot fork. Reason for the skid steer is it's going to be the easiest to drive around. Uh, in a, a what is it really a, a relatively short space, and you can see over there there's actually a, uh, a header trailer for the uh, sugar beet harvesters header as well. If you want to use that, I don't know. Oh well, I don't know why you would, but you can. So a neat little trick you can do with these is if you come over to somewhere where you own. I guess. Press Control I. You should be able to, but I can't for some reason. Um, I know I could over here. I think you might need to unload into Trader first. 
Yep, I need the trailer over there. Totally professional and arranged. So, I'll just, uh, um, seeing as I have to use the trailer in the first place, I'll just unload the one uh, bag into the trailer, tip it out on the ground, and get, then get the Navarro over here again. And, uh... Get it, uh... Lo reloading the trailer, I guess. So let's get the Navarro mouse. I had to pick the like one of the two things in game that it can't actually deal with, didn't I? And granted, we're driving around in a very ridiculous situation here, which you would never want to drive around in real life. Uh, completely unfolded like this, <laughs> because presumably, like presumably, like this, it's, it's really top heavy. Um, and I just realized I don't know if the tractor is even in a place where it can get to. Can I? No, it's, I gotta move the tractor now as well. It's in slightly the wrong. This isn't the tractor, Dave. So I gotta move the tractor so that I can actually get to it. Let's shove this in under here like that. Turn this on. Lower the header and you can see we are just almost immediately picking it up already. And that was really quick. This. For some bizarre reason, you can. Oh, that's why. You can <laughs> turn the seat if you really want to. So you can uh, load up your drivers while uh, spinning wildly in the seat. Now, as for how these look, um, do you know what? They look shiny. They look really nice. There's the, I can't really have a complaint with them. They're, they're Giants quality. Giants quality trumps what probably 95% of modders can ever pull off. Um, which, by the way, is why Giants keep saying, oh, we can we release DLC because we're the modders. 95% of cases, yes, that's true. There is the miracle 5% that can match Giants. And maybe the not point not 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 one percent that can do better. But there's, it's very rare that, you know, people can match giants. So what I want to do now is something a bit odd. I want to get the Homer Terraphalus, um, which costs a lot less than the Mouse 5. And has a bigger fuel tank. <laughs> but, ah, it doesn't have as wide of a pickup. And the Terra Dose. Because I want to do some direct comparisons right now. Um, I'm not going to compare the Ropa to the Grimmett. There's a reason that I'll get to that in a little bit. Because I've got a theory on the run, and... Um, most people who watch my videos and streams regularly will know what my theory is. If you don't, I'll explain it in a little bit. So this is the Homer T440. You all know it. It's the base game. Sugar Beet Harvester. Maybe some of you don't. Maybe some of you don't ever do Sugar Beets. Um, Something that I never thought, didn't think of. Uh, I do find it funny though that in FS15 we had the Homer DLC, and in FS17 now we've got the Ropa DLC. Both of them really strongly and heavily focused on um, sugar beets, which is really odd. Now, one of the leading criticisms I've heard of the Ropa DLC is that it's basically Homer but yellow. Now, if I take down all of the HUD, don't have my HUD hider mod in, so let's uh, just just toggle right in the HUD mode. Let's take down the HUD real quick, and there is no victory. Um, if you look at them, at these two, just these two, you can see they're completely different. The cab is different. The 
uh, header pickup thing is different. The tires, are, well, wheels and tires are mostly the same. Uh, the actually the rope has slightly bigger central hubs. Um, the crate on the back, I guess, is fairly similar, but again different. The layout of the conveyors is the front conveyor. Yes, is very similar, but again different because the rope seems to kind of not have as big of a an arch and not as big of angles on it. The rear conveyor is in two completely different places and the rear end of these are completely different looking. Now if I hop over to the Terraphalus, which is kind of the Holmer equivalent of the um, Euromouse, and I move it up into position so that it's roughly in line with the Euromouse, or the Mouse 5. You can see that immediately there's one major difference between these two. Like, yes, they both have counterweights, yes, they both have conveyor systems. But look, the cab on this doesn't raise, the cab on the Homer doesn't raise. Yes, they both have, you know, the conveyor systems which you can move and articulate in whatever direction. They both have counterweights, but they're put together completely differently and the design is almost entirely different. So there's no real comparison that can be drawn between the two. It's, it's unfair to draw comparisons. They're similar machines, yes. Do they do a similar job? Yes. Is the Ropa, which you can see over there, with the beautiful cab in yellow, in any way similar to this? Well, yes and no, because... I mean, they're two different completely designs of, of equipment. They're, they're not the same. Um, in any way, shape, or form. So is it, is it fair to compare these two at all? Probably not. Is it going to happen but from, uh, with people? Yeah. Which do I think is, is better? Take your pick. They both do the same thing. Um, you know, obviously, like, the potato harvester is going to do pretty much the same as the Grima. It's got a slightly bigger capacity. Um, so it's a good potato harvester. The Ropa um, Mouse 5 over there is re <laughs> it looks really nice. I'm... Just look at the detail of all the runners and all the the chains and all the hydraulics even. Um come to think of it. Do the hydraulic lines stretch? Nope. Nope. I'm trying to get this thing into Do these pipes they are dynamic. You can see that they are kind of turning and morphing around as the uh, the cab moves about. All of the underneath kind of morphs and turns around as the cab moves about as well. Gets into position to what we can do what it needs to do. Um, anything else that I can notice immediately about this? Ooh, this is a convenient angle. Does the, the drive line moves? The drive shaft, mo f shaft moves? This is... I think I've glitched the camera out of it, but this is actually kind of convenient. Um, if you can see the drive shaft moving, you can see... If I turn this on... Everything under here... is spinning and picking up sugar beets. I think there's actually sugar beets coming through. Yep. The mud particle system coming through, everything picking up sugar beets and you know, feeding them through. Even when I turn, you know, the particle system changes shape slightly to accommodate the turn. Um, you know, it's really nicely put together, really nicely designed with some custom um, animations, custom sounds, brand new to the game. And then you have that thing, which I have no idea what it does. Uh, I thought that was like some detail showing uh, angles of things. Um, the the Euro mouse, or the Navarro mouse over here. You can see this is literally just a mouse five as well. Oh, this is no, that's the that is the mouse five. Mm -hmm. The Navarro mouse over here. You can see it is the mouse five. Um, actually, the mouse five this time. This is the correct one. Um, 
again, some wonderful detailing, some wonderful effort has gone into this. Some, you know, it's not going to be fully FS19 spec. I don't, I, I don't think anybody expects these to be a true idea of what's going to come in FS19, but I think it's fair to say that the... Uh, yeah, the weird bits of ghosting you can see on the black there is down to reshade because it doesn't seem to like the game too much. Um, so that's why like you'll see wonkiness with the blacks specifically. I don't know how to fix that. I'm short of uninstalling reshade, so I do apologize for that. Um, I know I got it disabled, but it's still kind of installed. Um, yeah, this is nice. I really like this. I can find many new uses for this. The uh, potato harvester, which if I go up the field again, I can go have a closer look at it. The header trader is just a header trader. I'm not, not going to look at that thing in detail. I don't think it would be fair to do that. Um, but if I run up and have a, another look at the potato harvester, because I like the fact that it can't harvest and have the pipe out at the same time, despite the fact that... Well, it makes sense, actually. I'm just going to have a look at the uh, conveyor light. Okay, so they come up there. Go up over the top there. Get, I guess, spun around. Oh no, they, they could feed out over here, and you can see the little pusher go there where they are somehow put <laughs> onto this bit. How does that even happen? Oh, there's a. Ah, there's another pusher in there that puts them onto a side conveyor there. That then puts them onto this conveyor. And yeah, they wouldn't go fully straight up like that. So yeah, that makes sense. That it can't... Um, it can't... Um, empty the way that you maybe think it should. Like that it only harvests when you have the, uh, the pipe in like this. And it does much like a lot of Giants equipment. I don't know if it does in real life. But much like a lot of Giants equipment, it does have those uh, rear steering axles. Which... Do you know what? I think in real life it does. Um, anything cool this can do other than just work and have actually really nice practical system? Not really. You can see the pusher in action there actually. Um, it does <laughs> It does cause a bit of wonkiness in the particle system I'm just noticing. Because uh, the hills magically shrink as they go around corners. Um, but that's just a limitation of how particle systems work when you're using a 2D, effectively a 2D plane to be a particle system. Um, I guess I might as well just do kind of roundup of, of my thoughts here. Um, is this DLC good? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. Is it worth buying? If you want Ropa stuff, yes. If you're quite happy with the Holmer stuff and the Grimma, then maybe not. If you want the Navarro mouse, um, then possibly it's currently it's um, on sale for I think eight euros uh, currently, and uh, it's really down to you if you want it or not. Quite frankly, um, I like it. Am I glad that I bought it? Mm, kind of. I'll find uses for everything, especially the Noara mouse. Like I said, that's kind of the primary reason I was going for it myself anyway, um, because that. The Navarro mouse basically replaces conveyor belts, and I like anything that replaces a conveyor belt, and it's convenient. Um, I've already got a use in mind for it. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it. I will leave you by saying I've been Rainbow Dave. You've been watching your Farming Singular 17 DLC Spotlight on the Europa DLC on Gold Crest Valley, which I don't show off nearly as often as I maybe should. I um, hope you enjoyed. hope you have made up your mind on the DLC one way or another. Hope I've helped. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed or whatever, uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe and goodbye. <laughs>